Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So in the stable version of Microsoft Edge, when you click on your wallet from your profile, it takes you to the actual Microsoft wallet page. Now, something I've been talking about, if not briefly, on the channel is that Microsoft is going to deprecate the wallet page. And the options available on the wallet page, like passwords, personal info, and so on, are going to be moved to the Edge settings. Now, in Microsoft Edge Canary, if we just head over to the early preview quickly, and we do the same, that has already happened. So if we click on Wallet, we can see it takes us now to the settings, and there's a new feature in Canary called Passwords and Autofill. Now, if we click on Passwords and Autofill, as mentioned, it houses the wallet settings. So that would be password manager, payment methods, and personal info. Now, this passwords and autofill isn't actually that new in Canary. It's been around for a good couple of weeks. But just showing you more or less what's going to happen when Microsoft makes that transition in the stable version, because you can see there's a banner. We're making changes to wallet, and the changes they are making involve some of what we are looking at today. Now, what has become available quite recently in Edge Canary regarding passwords in Autofill is if we click on Personal Info, there is a third setting that Microsoft now has added onto this page. And it says, allow Microsoft Edge to improve Autofill suggestions by collecting field labels in web forms. The description reads, Edge collects field labels only and not the data you type in the fields. And this is on by default. Now, if you are wondering what field labels are, there's a couple of things that field labels brings to the table, so to speak. First of all, instead of relying on predefined autofill patterns, Edge can learn how different sites label fields, example, full name versus first name, which apparently ensures autofill places the right data in the correct fields. And another one would be improved adaptability, whereby collecting these labels, these field labels, Edge can adapt to variations and provide more accurate autofill suggestions. And another reason is machine learning optimization, where over time, this will improve accuracy, reducing instances where autofill places incorrect information. And the fourth reason would be enhanced user experience, which will mean you get better label recognition Autofill becomes more seamless, reducing the need for manual corrections and making form filling faster. So that's just a brief overview as to what field labels are bringing to the table, so to speak. Now, if you are concerned about privacy, it is likely that Edge already collected these labels, these field labels, to improve Autofill. But now Microsoft is actually giving us a setting and a toggle to give you a bit more better control over the feature. So if you are concerned about privacy, then you can just toggle this off. Where previously, there was no setting. And as mentioned, there's a good chance that Edge was already collecting these labels. So if you have a bit of a privacy red flag, you can turn this off. And if you're not really bothered, you can just leave that on. And if you leave that on, then you will get those four benefits with the setting turned on. So a couple of changes coming to the wallet and on the passwords in Autofill with this new setting. None of this is available as yet in the stable, but I personally think it will roll out to stable because Microsoft has already given us a heads up in the stable. We're making changes to wallet. And when that becomes available, I'll obviously try and keep you guys posted. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.